New tonight at 5.30, federal officials say they have broken up one of the biggest, baddest, and most violent gangs in the city of Buffalo, a gang which authorities say is responsible for murders and other violence on city streets. Channel 2's Aaron Sagan is just back from the U.S. Attorney's Office to tell us about the arrest made during an early morning FBI raid. Aaron? Well, Jody, the gang, according to authorities, is called the Bailey Boys, and they allegedly operate in the Bailey Avenue corridor on the city's east side near Minnesota Avenue. Less than two hours ago, U.S. Attorney Bill Holkel, flanked by leaders of several local law enforcement organizations, announced the arrest of seven accused members of that gang. All of them, according to authorities, are among the gang's top members. Yeah, it's your boy Jay Batters. I'm here to let the world know that I'm innocent. I'm out on bail, back out on bail, on house arrest. It's called Justice for Jay Batters. Y'all might know me from seeing the news clips in the, in the Buffalo, the paper, USA Today, as Kenneth Petway. Like, I'm here to just explain that I'm innocent. You see the news clip, how they make making everything out to be, how they making things sound. Now, according to the uh, U.S. attorney, the alleged members of this gang were also in the drug business, and they were not afraid to kill anyone who got in their way. Hochul said they, quote, terrorized the people of that neighborhood. Like somebody's just in a big violent gang and all that like I was already indicted on charges back in January I was out on house arrest I had a curfew and everything after I was on for so long but now as you can see I was just picked up last week on the same charges basically just added me into two two more charges racketeering RICO conspiracy charge. But These three in particular are facing federal racketeering or RICO charges, which were originally created to prosecute members of the mafia. But it involves my same charges that I was already out on bail for. I'm back out on bail right now. Thank God for the judge. The judge let me get my bail back and he let me continue on my um, home monitoring. I'm on 24 hour home incarceration. I'm just here to let y'all know. I want y'all to look at this case so these people can't just slander me. It's, this di it's a district attorney. His name is Anthony Bruce. Anybody who crossed them was subject to an act of violence up to and including murder. Um, they owned their territory because no one would challenge them. He, he got like a tendency of charging people, trying to get people charged with this racketeering case, but getting witnesses leading witnesses on and telling them what to say in order for him to be able to charge these people in front of a grand jury with these charges. Like, I got a news clip that I want y'all to go look at. I'm not here to slander the um, law or the legal system or nothing like that. It's just that this guy already was before this same judge. He tried to prosecute a motorcycle club and charged them with racketeering charges and RICO conspiracy, which he was caught lying, getting, getting, getting witnesses to lie in order for him to be able to bring these charges up on these people. That's my whole point of this video. I want y'all to watch and see what's going on so that this guy can't falsely accuse me of nothing and everything can go right. Maybe a higher power can look in and see what's going on. Like, there are no wiretaps. There were no undercovers. There was nothing of that in this case. This case was just Mr. Parisi's sweat and my sweat and the, the agents and officers' sweat to try and put this whole thing together and find people with, who would tell us the bad things that they had done. Right before, I, like, I had a court date August 2nd. I had motions in to get that other case dismissed. I got my motion papers right here. Motions was in to get the case dismissed. It's my mo Look how thick my motions is. I had a lot of motions in. And we were supposed to go to court on the second. They came and got me on the first. The day before that I was supposed to go to court, my house was raided. Which they didn't even have to raid my house if they wanted me. If they made like how they made it on the news. Like they wanted me so bad or wanted this gang so bad. Whatever they trying to call it. I was on an ankle monitor. I was on house arrest already. So they could have waited till I go. I had to report on that day, on the first. They could have waited till I got downtown, cuffed me down there, and took me in. But they kicked my door in. Like my little baby, my daughter was in the house, sleep, pointing guns. My girl, we all in the bed. 
that's my whole reason for this. I don't, I don't, I just don't like the way they're going about it and trying to make the news and the media trying to make it like it's this this big thing. You know what I'm saying? So this is called Justice for Jay Batters. If you want to stay tuned, I'll be putting up a video every week, keeping y'all informed on my case. I ain't gonna get in too deep on everything, on no full details and nothing like that. But I just want y'all to see how they, how the system does people. And I want to be the voice for people that's sitting in the feds right now locked up for conspiracy that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Ain't got no court date, no bail, just sitting because the district attorney or the prosecutor want these people to come forward and, and, and tell or whatever, however they want it, want whatever they want them to do. But you can keep up on TakeMoneyEntertainment.com, at JBatters on Twitter, and JBatters Take Money ENT on YouTube if you want to stay tuned with this and follow everything. Justice for Jay Batters, man.